If you're building a website, you probably need a menu as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you three simple yet amazing hover effects for your links. All right, guys, so this is the index.html, as usual, style sheet already linked, and then a little bit of navigation here that you can see here that you cannot see actually, but whatever. Then here, a little bit of main CSS, okay, just to center the, the navigation, nothing important. So let's get started with the first effect. So first of all, we need to style the anchor elements. So text decoration none to remove the underline, et cetera, et cetera. Then margin, let's do 1.3 m, then color white, then font size, let's make them a little bit bigger. Then position, relative, because we need that to position the other elements. Then padding, 0, 0, 0 0.2 em, and 0. I'm going to show you why I've set the, this padding. And then I'm going to copy and paste the clip path. Like that. I'm not going over how the clip path works, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but basically, we are hiding things around. Okay. Then let's actually style the before to the element. So position absolute, content empty. We don't need anything. We are working with the border. So two pixels, solid white, and then we want it to be. 100% the width of the anchor element. Then bottom, we want it to be the bottom and we want it to start from the left. Okay, then a little transition to make things better, like, like that is out, okay. Then we want the before element when we hover over the anchor element, we want it to go back to zero, left zero, okay. So if we save that, we can already see the amazing effect. Look at that. And this padding is used because if we set it to zero, let's actually do that. It's really, really close to the, to the text. And if we increase the border, five pixels, for example, it goes over it, okay? So you need to adjust the padding so that they don't look at that. Okay, so let's go back to two and here two. Okay, but now you know why you need to use padding, etc. Okay, perfect. So then let's see the second effect. So let's copy and paste this. Okay, comment this out. So we can change just the things that we need to change. Here we need to change the padding. So zero, zero point four em, zero, zero point four em. Okay. Then I'm going to copy and paste the clip path as we did above, like that. Here, we just need to change the height 100%. And then here we want right minus one EM and transition, of course, right. Down here, we want to change this. And then we're going to use the after as well. So here, after, here, after. Oh, by the way, of course, here we don't need button. Okay, perfect. And here we need to set it to left and the transition left, of course, and here as well. Okay, perfect. Then if we save that, you should see the other amazing effect. Okay, on to the third one. So let's copy all of that and go down here. Perfect. Let's start out with the anchor element. Let's change a little bit of the padding. Perfect. Then a click path like that. Here we go back to with 100%. In this case, we want the bottom zero, left 5 em, and left here, and also left here. Then we want to change things in the after element as well. We want the width here, then right five, then here the top. Okay, and transition right and here right as well. Let's save it and see the other effect. Really, 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 really cool. So now if you want to keep learning, I highly recommend you check out the video you see on the screen 